Well, hello again. We're playing SCP-3008 today. The last time I played this game was about a year or so ago, and that video did fairly well. You guys seemed to really like it. So I thought I would go ahead and revisit it here in uh, 2022, since it's about, about a year. Um, this game is still in development, although there have been a couple updates since the last time I played it. I don't know exactly what they are. Um, but this has always just been a fun little game. For those of you who don't know SCP-3008, if you're even, if you don't even know what SCP is, I don't know why you're here. Uh, but for those of you who are familiar with SCP, SCP-3008 is basically an infinite Ikea. And the staff members are horribly misformed. And will try to kill us. I have two instances of the game running in the background. Okay, are we good now? Yeah, we're good now. <laughs> okay, so this is the infinite Ikea. Inf uh, eh. Infinite Ikea. Um, but yeah, we gotta survive in the infinite Ikea. So, don't know, don't know what to do here, um, but I know you gotta break down kind of the furniture and stuff and survive using that. Oh, there's a staff member over there. What's up, man? What's up? What you doing? What you doing? Yeah, so these are the staff. Uh, they, they look a little funky. Just, just a little bit funky. Um, but during the night, they will try to kill you. And, uh, yeah. So, basically... During the night, I am screwed if I don't get anything done. Oh, there's another staff member. Nice. Nice. I've got a shopping cart. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, they're everywhere. Cool, this is not gonna be fun if we die. See, what's funny about this game is I have never been to an Ikea before. So when I... This was my only experience or knowledge of an Ikea. When I first walked into an Ikea after having played this game, I was bugging the heck out. Because it, it really does feel infinite once you actually go to one. It's, it's horrifying. Don't let this game be your first experience with Ikea. It is not going to end well. <laughs> so we might as well start just breaking stuff down. I know you could find blueprints and stuff laying around, but... Look at this exciting gameplay, guys. Are you bored yet? This is very, very high quality gameplay right here. Very high quality. Two metal. Nice. Got some beds here. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Blueprint, blueprint, what is it? Ardened metal. Very nice. Don't know what I'm gonna use that for. I should probably stick in this general vicinity because there's a food court and food important. I need to fortify something here. I think if I fortify this general little space here, I might be safe. I might be safe. This game is definitely a little bit different from what I typically make nowadays, but I want to hear what you guys think about this. So if you guys want to see me play more of this game, I mean, it's more kind of laid back than anything until the staff come at night. Um, but besides that, I mean, if you guys want to see more of this, let me know down below. I like these long benches because they cover more ground. I don't know when, I don't know when nighttime happens and it always scares the ever living crap out of me when it does. Okay, I'm going to go out. There are so many staff here, oh my god. This is very not good. I don't know why there's so many staff. I don't think there's supposed to be this many. The store got closed. Please leave the building. I know I have a flashlight. How do I do it? Excuse me. The store is now closed. Please exit the building. Okay. All those staff are pissed off. Just sleep for eight hours. About eight hours sounds right, right? Good at, get your eight hours in, you know, like the doctor always says. That's a good idea, right? Ah, okay. About... Ten hours or so, give or take. That was terrible. <laughs> I hated that. I hated that a lot. Yeah, not, now they're not mad at me anymore. Which is a good thing. The problem with this area is this is going to be very, very hard to remember. Um, as a way of remembering, let's have the seat of the chair always pointing back to where I came from. This is a good idea. God, there's so many of you guys. See, this is the part where I get lost, because now I'm looking for the food court. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. 
long as we know where the food court is. I'm starting to remember the reason that I haven't touched this game in a while. I can make a crowbar. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take the crowbar. I'll take the crowbar. I like that. Yeah, now we're in business. Then I think I have upgrades I can do as well, right? Yeah. Um, scavenging. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I forgot how this works. So you can kill staff, but it normally doesn't result very well. Definitely think I want to go through mechanic first to scrap stuff faster, because let's be honest, this this is very slow and obnoxious. Okay, and then scavenging tier two. Let's craft another crowbar. I'm making no running noise now. Oh, oh god, okay. Ah. Let's re- okay, that's weird. Um, um. That's not good. That's- Oh, got him. This is good. We're safe. Christ. Scared the crap out of me. This is a very slow game. Very slow. I'm not against it, I don't hate it, but I'm, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I really hope you're enjoying this, cause this is uh... Yeah. Ah, we survived. Alright, let's go poke people with sticks. Why are you mad? Why are there so many of you and why are- Why are there so many? Alright guys, I know what to do. I understand the assignment. There are so freaking many. Ow. That hurt a lot. Fuck, did I die? No! Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, I tried. I tried. Alright, well, that's been SCP-3008. It's a little bit of an interesting game. If you guys want to see more, let me know down below. But I, I think I'm going to leave it there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one.